Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another very soft and pretty look that I think is also daytime wearable. If you feel like it's still a little bit too much, the only thing I would say is just don't do the glitter and you're good to go. But this is definitely, definitely daytime friendly without the glitter. But you know, I wanted to add a little bit of pizzazz here and there, so I added the glitter. I think the glitter still gives it a nice little soft touch and it's still really glamorous. Maybe too much for the workplace depending on where you work. I don't know But still it's really nice and soft and pretty so if you want to see how I achieve this look stick around and keep on watching <laughs> Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face using the Smashbox Primer Water and I'm just going to literally douse myself in this thing. I really like this thing as a primer. It just makes my skin feel nice and refreshed and it really preps my face for my makeup. Here I'm taking the NYX Shine Killer and I'm just going to apply this in all the areas that I normally get oily which is like around my nose area, the top of my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and rub that in really nicely after that i'm going to be taking the four the the, <laughs> the pore filler not the four filler but the pore filler to fill in my enlarged pores i normally have them like on the top of my cheeks so yeah i'm just going to go ahead and do that and make sure you know i have a nice and smooth and even transition for my or a nice and even canvas for my makeup what am i talking about Today I'm going to be trying another new foundation and this is by L'Oreal and this is their Lumi Cushion Foundation and I'm wearing Creme Cafe W8 and yeah I'm just using my beauty blender and I'm just going to pat this all over my face to even out my skin tone because what is makeup without flawless skin, okay? And now that I have that, I'm just going to moisturize my lips before I do anything else and next I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Creamy Beige and I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the areas on my face that I love to highlight under my eyes, my nose, the forehead, a little bit on the chin, a little bit above the upper lip. And yeah, I know it's really, really light, but hey, I make it work, okay? Don't fret my pet. I got this. Just watch me work magic, okay? And now that I have that nicely blended, I'm going to go ahead and set that using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in medium tan. And I'm using a little powder puff to pat this on and really press this into my skin so I don't have any creasing or anything like that. And then I'm going to move on to the eyes. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my Black Opal Flawless Perfecting Honey Concealer. I'm going to go ahead and buff this all over my eye just to remove that crease from the foundation and even on my eyelid space. And the brush that I'm using is by Sigma and this is their 3D HD Precision Brush. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna be taking my MAC 227 brush and my Ben Nye powder. I'm just gonna pat this right under my brow bone area and I'm gonna bring it right into my crease a little bit so I, it will help with like blending my eyeshadow when it gets to that part. I'm not putting it on the lid, just in the crease area. Okay, taking my Tarte Tartlet Palette and the color that I'm using is called Wanderer. I'm just going to lightly buff this into my crease. And I'm using my MAC 224 brush. I'm just going to buff this back and forth into this area very lightly. I promise you this is going to be like the quickest eye tutorial you've ever seen in your life. Very, very lightly. You just want a wash of color. You're not really trying to define this area. You know, you're not trying to go in too hard. You're just lightly dusting it in there just to create a little bit of depth. Now taking a brush that is by a Japanese brand, I'm gonna be patting this color. And the name of this color is called Force of Nature. And I'm just gonna pat this all over my lid. This brush doesn't really have a number or anything like that, but you can just use like a regular eyeshadow pa packer brush. And using the same brush, I'm gonna go into Free Spirit. And I'm gonna put this right into the inner corner of my eye and pat this on there just to brighten up my eyes a little bit more. And like I said, you just wanna lightly wash this, you know, over this color right here. It's just gonna make it a lot more bright and make your eyes look a lot more awake and stuff like that. Now taking a, another Sigma brush. This one is like the old series. This still has like the SS214 on it, but you guys know the brush. You know, you know the one that I'm talking about. We're gonna go back into Wanderer and just start to dust this on the lower lash line just to smoke it out a bit and to connect it to the crease color just connect it right there like that okay so for my liner I'm gonna be using an Inglot lipstick brush this doesn't have a number on it this was just a synthetic brush that I got in one of those sets that they had and I'm using my Kate gel liner 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and give myself a nice wing. I'm not gonna talk <laughs> too much through this section because I cannot talk to you and do this at the same time. But I'm gonna give myself a really nice thick wing. Now to play up this look a little bit more, I'm going to be adding some glitter and the glitter I'm using is by LA Splash and it is their glitter called Censored Orange and it's like a reflect of orange and pink and it's just really really pretty and soft. I'm just going to pat that all over my lid and my brush is wet because I dipped it into my liquid sugar. You just want a little bit of this stuff, you don't want to go overboard because you still want it to be wearable for the daytime. And that's basically it. And I'm also gonna add just a little bit into this area right here, around my teared up area. Okay, so for my lashes, I am gonna take like a natural looking lash. And this, these are the Vanilla Birthday Lashes. And they're really, really lightweight. And I think you wanna go with a lash like this instead of like a really full lash. Cause you don't wanna overpower like the liner and you don't wanna cover that up. You don't wanna cover up the liner or the glitter cause that's the point of this look. So you want a nice light lash that's not going to take away from the prettiness that you just created on your eye. Okay, so to contour my face, I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer. And this fan brush is by Sedona Lace and it is their FB01 brush. I'm just going to carry this into the hollows of my cheek, into my temple area, and onto my forehead. And I'm going to connect it to my jawline. And this is just going to give the face a really nice slimming effect. And to blend all of this together, I'm going to be using my MAC 187 and my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder in Classic Tan. I'm just going to blend this all over my face and bring my contour and highlight together. And to give myself a bit of a glow, I'm going to be going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I'm going to be taking Golden Bronze. And this fan brush is from Morphe. And this is their M601. I'm going to carry it up into this area right here. Like, I see a lot of people just add it right here. But for me, like, if you look at a person, like, you're, that glow should, should come into this area right here. Like, right up under the eyes. Like, it should connect up into there. So I like to bring it up. I feel like it looks weird when you see, like, matte shine and then matte. Like, but to each his own. You don't have to do it like I do it. I'm going to carry some on my forehead. I like my forehead to glow a little bit. But I go in very light in this area. I'm going to bring some on my chin. My cupid's bow. And the tip of my nose. I haven't even contoured my nose yet. You don't have to do as much as I did. You know, you can just, you can do whatever you feel like doing. You can add your glow anywhere you want to put your glow, okay? Now to contour my nose as usual, I'm going to be using my Iman Perfect Response Oil, <laughs> Perfect Response Oil Blotting Powder in Light Medium. And I'm using this brush, and this brush came in a set. I have it on my Instagram, so if you want to know the name and everything, just go on my Instagram and scroll down and you'll see it. You can't miss it. And I like to use this powder to contour my nose because it's an oil blotting powder. It's not as opaque, basically. It's kind of share but it gives me just the right nice it gives me the amount of tint that I want for a nose contour basically is what I'm trying to say does that make sense you get what I'm saying and for my blush once again I'm using the sleek blush in Sahara and this brush is by Isylum Isilium every time I see it I want to say Asylum <laughs> It's by Asylum. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and give my cheek a nice little color. And I really love this blush because it just goes with every single look. Like you can't go wrong with a orangey, rusty blush, especially on brown skin. You just can't. Okay, so for mascara, I'm using the Maybelline, Maybelline <laughs> Last Sensational Volume Express in black. Okay, so for my bottom lashes, I'm going to be using the Brow Lash X <laughs> Anniversary Mascara. And this is a Japanese brand, so if you can't find it, don't worry about it. Just use whatever black mascara you have. But I like to use this because of the brush. I find that it coats my bottom lashes a lot better than the other, other mascara. 
and that is it so let me get my wig and a top and let's come on back okay <laughs> okay so for my waterline I already started but I'm using this Maybelline eyeliner in OR2 is their color show liner and I'm just adding this into my waterline I thought I was recording a while ago and I just realized that I wasn't for my lips the first thing I'm gonna do is line them with my NYX liner in nutmeg and for my lipstick what I'm gonna be using is the Revlon matte liquid lipstick well it's a matte lip color okay so that is it for this look and let me tell you today is not a good hair day it's just not it's not it's not happening but I'm gonna make it work <laughs> I'm gonna make it work. It has to work for this video because I'm, I'm done. I'm tired. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning over here in Japan and I'm in here filming this video. Not going anywhere so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off. But I just want to say I thank all of you for supporting my channel and for showing me so much love. I noticed in the comment section in the comment section I hardly get any more hate no one tells me I look like a man anymore so I must be doing something right I don't know <laughs> but um that stuff never bothered me anyway I think it's all fun and, and you know I think it's it's all love it's all love and I really just want to thank all of you guys for sticking with me and supporting my channel I appreciate every single one of you and all the love that you show me anyways that is it for this look I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching my video I love you take care and until the next video bye, -bye.